Hey friends, this video is about the pyramids of Egypt and maybe what they were used for. And I'm seeking your participation in this conversation about maybe us figuring it out. Because I think it's a power station. And I actually think that there, there is the ability to actually replicate the pyramid in a modern way where we could actually make electricity. I know that sounds very controversial. Controversial. Uh, this might be 15 minutes long. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of electronics and stuff and science. Let's get started. Okay, so the Earth has its own frequency, and it's 6 hertz. And I originally had thought that the, uh, the pyramid's also made with piezo... Uh, a rock, the piezoelectric effect, which is a type of granite that when you squeeze it, it makes electricity. And uh, there's a person making some road tiles in California, and they're saying that they could put this on all the highways. They could power California with this. That's how much electricity there is. And this is the technology that makes airbags go off. Well, one of the technologies that when it vibrates, it makes electricity. So the pyramid is made with a lot of this piezoelectric rock inside it. So there's the subchamber of the pyramid. And the pyramid itself, the base, I think is 80 feet above sea level. And I had the idea that maybe long ago when they built it, the sea was higher. And therefore, water would go into the pyramid and hit the subchamber and bump it and ring, and ring the pyramid. And I think the king's chamber and the queen's chamber and the grand gallery, and they found this new hidden room, I think these are harmonic resonance cavities that increase the vibration to make it hum even louder and vibrate more to make electricity. And I don't know if you've seen, uh, like, well, you might be thinking, well, the Egyptians didn't have electricity. Well, actually, there's, there's a... There's a hieroglyph where there's a man standing with this big, like, basically a fluorescent light bulb. And there's a, a it looks like a resistor, or not a resistor, an insulator in front of it. And then they're also holding up this thing. You've seen this a lot in Egyptian hieroglyphs. This could be some type of light bulb or communication device. I don't know. I should also mention, we're gonna, I'm going to say a bunch of controversial things that are not founded in any science. They're just theories. Um, and there's also something called remote viewing. And I used to think this stuff was batshit crazy. But it's been proven to be true. It's a form of ESP. And it's not like some people can do it. We all have the ability to see into the future and the past. Basically, you know when you think of that friend from high school and you haven't talked to them for years and then the phone rings and it's them? That's what that is. It's a form of it. So they remote viewed how the pyramids were made and sit down for this. Basically, aliens came here. They looked like um, they, they invented like some worker bee humans. And one of the aliens looked like a big praying mantis. I know that sounds crazy. But... I've seen it. you got to look at the Farsight Institute. So if they did come here, what the hell were they doing? There's the uh, one guy who proved that they're laid out in the shape of Orion, the star cluster, the star, the, the stars, Orion's belt. And um, I actually think that the pyramids were an energy power station to put electricity into the Earth to create the ability to use these light bulbs right here in the Valley of the Kings where they did all the complex tombs. I don't know. You know, it's just, it's just so weird. Um, but here's the most important thing for us is if this is true, could we build our own pyramid? And also the shape of the pyramid was covered in limestone. And let's say it's making all this electricity. It's going to push it into the earth maybe. So I think like Nikola Tesla in his Warding Cliff Tower that was built on top of an aquifer, the pyramid was built on top of an aquifer, and I think that's a way to send electricity into the earth. So maybe um, 
So, but I'm I'm actually scrapping my idea about the water hammer. Well, I'm not scrapping it. I have another art theory that maybe the pyramid itself just resonates with the earth. Mm, it just it just hums all by itself. There's a uh, a scientist. I think he's a mechanical like engineer, Christopher Dunn, and he's done a lot of research in the pyramid. And he says that he could hear like a humming noise when he was in the king's chamber. Um, so what I'm proposing is, is maybe the pyramid is a, and there's something called, um, a coupled oscillator. It's a principle in physics where if something over here is, mm, and something over here will start humming with this one is humming. I've seen it done. So I think that the pyramid is a coupled oscillator to the earth. And when it oscillates, it vibrates and shakes that piezoelectric rock and makes a lot of electricity. So could we get a bunch of granite rock and make it vibrate and then harness the electricity from it? That's what I don't know, and that's why I'm telling you this, my idea. It's just a theory, and I've given you all the kind of knowledge I have on it. I know it's pretty out there. So tell me what you think in the comments. And let's investigate this further. In conclusion, the pyramid is a harmonic resonant cavity powered by the earth. It vibrates piezo rock and makes electricity, then shoves the electricity into the earth like Nikola Tesla did in Colorado with his power station. And he could put a light bulb in the soil and it would light up, I think, up to 100 miles away. So thanks for hearing me out. Cheers.